Hello, my name is Dr. Susan Elliott. I'm the Language Arts Supervisor for the Westchester Area School District. In this presentation, you will learn about the PA Core Language Arts Standards and how those standards change from kindergarten through 12th grade. You will also learn the types of activities your students are doing in their classrooms to apply these standards. Finally, you will learn the changes to the PSSA, which students in grades 3 through 8 will take in the spring. The PA Core Standards are organized into five categories. Foundational skills, reading informational text, reading literature, writing, and speaking and listening. Foundational skills appear in grades K through 5 only. These skills include early literacy skills like book handling and tracking print on a page. Phonological awareness, which is the ability to hear sounds and words and manipulate those sounds. Phonics, which is decoding skills. And fluency, which is the ability to read accurately with appropriate rate and phrasing. Reading informational text standards focus on the skills students need to read and understand the different types of nonfiction text they will encounter in school and life. This includes textbooks, magazines, online resources, and other nonfiction picture books. Students learn how to determine the main idea and supporting details in a text, how to understand the point an author is trying to make, and how the structure of nonfiction text helps the reader better understand it. Reading literature standards focus on the skills students need to read and understand different types of literature they will encounter in school and life. This includes picture books, novels, poetry, and plays. Students will learn how to determine the theme or central message in the story. They will learn how characters develop and change over the course of the story. They will also learn how authors use language to create mental images of the setting or characters. The writing standards focus on developing the abilities to write for different purposes. They will learn how to write narrative or fictional stories. They will learn how to write informative pieces, which tell a reader about a specific topic. They will also learn how to write a piece which outlines their opinion or an argument they make about a specific topic or stance. Students will also learn how to conduct and write research. The speaking and listening standards focus on the skills students need to engage in collaborative work and present their thinking in various contexts. They will learn how to speak appropriately to the context and how to engage in collaborative conversations where they listen effectively and build on what a peer has said to contribute to and extend the conversation. Although organized into categories, these standards are not taught in isolation of each other during language arts instruction. Teachers connect standards so students see the relationship between them. For example, as we read and discuss texts, the teacher also works on developing speaking and listening skills. The standards are written for pre-K through 12th grade, with the focus on college and career readiness. This means that the standards were developed to provide students with the skills necessary for whatever path they choose after graduating from one of our Westchester high schools. Whether it's a four-year college, a two-year college, a trade school, the armed forces, or the workforce, these standards will help students be prepared. The standards were developed to create a staircase connecting learning across years with logical expectations building from year to year. The skills they learn in kindergarten build into first grade and so on. Next, you will see some examples of the progression of the standards across the grades. We are going to start with 12th grade and move to kindergarten. Let's look at a standard for reading informational text and understanding the key ideas and details in the text. At 12th grade, students are expected to cite textual evidence, infer, and draw conclusions based on both the explicit and implicit message the author presents. When we compare 9th grade to 12th grade, we see a few differences. Mainly, 9th graders are not expected to infer and draw conclusions based on both the implicit and explicit message. They focus on the author's explicit message. Now as we look at 7th grade for the same standard for reading informational text, we see that students must cite several pieces of textual evidence to support an analysis, to infer, and to draw conclusions as part of an analysis of text. When we compare 7th grade to 5th grade, we see that 5th graders must cite text evidence and explain what the text says explicitly. Now we move to the 3rd grade standard. In 3rd grade, students are not expected to quote or directly cite text evidence. 
we must ask and answer questions about the text and refer to the text as they give their answers. And finally, we move to kindergarten. Many standards in kindergarten begin with the phrase, with prompting and support. With the help of the teacher, students will answer questions about key details in the text. Thus, the skills they learn and practice in kindergarten will build through 12th grade when we expect students to cite thorough textual evidence as they analyze what the text says, both explicitly and implicitly. Now I will show you how a writing standard changes across the grade, starting with 12th grade. You will notice that we have opinion and argumentative writing noted with this one standard. It is because the standards do not expect a kindergartner through fifth grader to be able to write an argumentative piece in which they make a claim and then present and refute a counterclaim. This particular standard relates to focus or topic in writing. In 12th grade, students must be able to write with a sharp focus in which they identify the task, purpose, and audience. They must also introduce a knowledgeable claim. In comparison, 9th graders must have a sharp focus with a precise claim, but not a knowledgeable claim. As we move to 7th grade, we see the standard shifts and requires students to introduce and state an opinion, but not make a precise claim. 5th grade and 7th grade are very similar. You will see 3rd grade is similar to 5th and 7th, in which we want students to introduce a topic and state an opinion. However, you will notice a difference in kindergarten. In kindergarten, we ask students to form an opinion by choosing between two topics. For example, the kindergarten teacher may ask students which type of pet is better, a puppy or a kitten. Students will choose one and give reasons why that pet is a better pet. Similar to the reading example, the skills they learn in elementary school build to the expectation in 12th grade. Before they can argue a particular stance or size an issue in writing, they must first be able to form an opinion and support that opinion with reasons and evidence. So how are teachers helping students master these standards as they increase in complexity and level of expectation every year? Throughout the language arts block, teachers are engaging students in reading and writing for a variety of purposes. We follow a workshop format for our language arts block in the elementary schools. We use both reading and writing workshops. At the middle school level, reading and writing are integrated during English and reading classes. Additionally, students engage in purposeful reading and writing in other classes too. During reading workshop at the elementary level, the classroom teacher works with students in a variety of formats, including whole class, small group, and individually. Students also work independently to practice skills they are learning. We use different types of texts over the course of the school year, including fiction, nonfiction, and poetry. Teachers also include word study during the reading workshop. They learn phonics skills, develop vocabulary, and practice spelling. Some of the texts we use during reading workshop include picture books, novels, magazines, and online sources. We also use science and social studies texts as resources to practice important literacy skills. Teachers also have access to many level texts which they use to provide instruction and practice with texts that students can read. The ways in which these resources are used vary by the grade level. For example, in kindergarten, teachers read aloud picture books that students may later be able to read independently in second or third grade. Students in fourth or fifth grade may read a novel together to explore how a character develops over time, or they may read different but similar novels to compare the characters. We also use leveled text to provide reading instruction and independent reading materials at each student's instructional level. A second component of our language arts block at the elementary level is writing workshop. During writing workshop, students engage in whole group instruction, small group instruction, peer support, and independent writing. Students learn to write narrative stories, informative pieces, and opinion pieces. Teachers also connect grammar instruction to writing. We use grammar to effectively communicate, so we show students how authors we read use grammar and give them practice applying those skills to their writing. During writing workshop, we use mentor texts. A mentor text is a text the teacher uses to teach a writing skill. It can be a picture book, a paragraph from a novel, an article from a magazine, or the teacher's own writing. We look at how an author has used the skill in his or her writing and try it in our own writing. 
We also use online resources to help students during writing workshops. Students may use the computer to research or type. We also show students samples of writing done by other students in the same grade so they can see how kids have applied some of the same writing skills. At the middle school, the core language arts instruction occurs in the English and reading classes. In these classes, students read a variety of texts, including novels, short stories, poems, plays, magazines, news articles, and more. They also engage in writing for many purposes. Students write to think and learn as they write about what they are reading. They also write to communicate ideas. Similar to the elementary level, students write narrative pieces, informative pieces, and research. However, different from the elementary level, middle school students are learning to write argumentative pieces. The middle school language arts teachers also embed grammar and language instruction within the context of reading, writing, speaking, and listening. They build vocabulary skills and help students apply grammar skills to writing and speaking. Although the core language arts instruction happens in the English and reading classes, students apply the language arts standards in other classes. For example, in science and social studies classes, students read and write about different topics. They may research and present information on a historically significant American in history, or write a technical lab report detailing an experiment in science. Teachers at the elementary and middle levels focus on some key areas to help students master the PA Core Standards. One of the important components of the PA Core Standards is that students are reading a balance of literature and informational texts. Teachers have many fiction and nonfiction resources that they use throughout the year, including books, magazines, and websites. During whole group instruction, small group instruction, and independent reading, students are engaging with both nonfiction and fiction texts and applying those skills as they read. The PA Core Standards place a greater emphasis on the role of writing. If students are going to become proficient writers, they need to write a lot. The PA Core Standards ask students to write for many purposes. Sometimes they write about a personal experience, like a family vacation. Sometimes they write a report on an animal they have researched or a country they are studying in social studies. And sometimes they write to express an opinion about a favorite book or if recess is better before or after lunch. We also help kids learn to write from sources as they write informational pieces. They learn to gather information from books, magazines, or websites and put that information together in a logical paragraph, essay, or report. Students will also learn how to write in response to the books they are reading. At the elementary level, students have different journals in their classrooms in which they write for different purposes. For example, they have science journals in which they record observations from science experiments or projects. They have reading journals in which they write about the books they are reading in small groups or during independent reading time. They also have writing journals in which they work on longer pieces and practice the writing skills they learn through classroom instruction. Another important part of the PA course speaking and listening standards are the integration of 21st century learning skills, including the ability to engage in collaborative conversations with peers. So in classrooms, you will find students working together on projects or helping each other revise writing. Teachers help students learn how to listen to someone else and build on what that person shared. You will also see students working independently on reading and writing in addition to engaging in teacher-directed instruction. The collaborative conversations and independent work times give students opportunities to practice the skills they are learning. Technology is an important tool in the elementary classroom and the middle school classroom. Whether they have desktops, laptops, tablets, interactive boards, or iPads in their schools, Students will have many opportunities to use technology to support their learning. They may use it to research a topic for science or history. They may use it to type a report or story. They may also use technology to develop and deliver a presentation. Students will use technology as a learning tool, also by playing games and solving problems. Because the grade levels build on each other, you may be concerned that your child is now behind because he or she did not have these new standards in previous years. Rest assured that your child is not behind. Teachers are focused on helping students transition successfully to the new standards. This means that they determine what students know relative to the standard expectations 
and help fill in the gaps. If your child is in grades 3 through 8, you may be concerned that he or she will not be ready for the revised PSSA assessment. Again, please know that every teacher is working to help students learn the skills they need to be ready to do their best on the PSSA in April. The teachers take your child from where he or she is and build their knowledge toward the grade level expectations. The PSSA has been revised to align to the PA core standards. Additionally, the state has made some changes to the format of the test. This year, students in grades 3 through 8 will have both reading and writing on the assessment. In the past, only 5th and 8th graders had writing. As in the past, the assessment will include both fiction and nonfiction passages. However, your students will also see some new question types that I will share with you in this presentation. Your students will see four types of questions on the PSSA with a slight difference between third grade and the other grades. All students will see multiple choice questions in which they will have to select the best answer from a choice of four possible answers. They will also see a new two-part multiple choice in which they answer part one and then answer part two based on how they answer part one. Third graders will see a short answer question in which they will be asked to write a paragraph to demonstrate their understanding of a text. Fourth through eighth graders will not see a short answer question. Rather, they will see a text-based essay question in which they will be asked to write a multi-paragraph essay showing their analysis of a passage that they have read. Finally, all students will see writing prompts in which they will write in response to a prompt not related to a reading passage. Let's show you some examples. This is an example of the two-part multiple choice question. After reading a passage, this two-part multiple choice question will ask them first to select an answer in part one based on the passage they read. In this example, the students are asked to select a character trait which best describes the main character from the story. Next, they are asked to select a detail from the passage that supports the answer they chose in Part 1. Although not pictured on this slide, the answer choices in Part 2 are lines or sentences from the text. It is important to note that students may be asked to select two answers in Part 2 on some questions. Thus, it will be very important for students to carefully read the questions. This is an example of the text-based essay in 4th to 8th grade. Notice how students are asked to write an essay and use information from the text to support their response. Unlike the short answer responses on the previous PSSA tests, your students are expected to write a multi-paragraph essay to show how they have analyzed the text in order to answer the question. The text-based essay question often asks students to look carefully at what the author did in order to convey meaning. Your students are learning how to find evidence in the text and explain how that evidence answers the question. This question type is on the third grade PSSA only. Students answer this question after reading a passage. They are asked to write a short response, perhaps one paragraph, to answer this question. There are two main differences between the short answer in third grade and the text-based essay in the other grades. First, the short answer focuses on general comprehension of the passage. In contrast, the text-based essay requires students to more closely analyze an aspect of the text, moving to deeper comprehension. Second, the short answer is scored based on a student's ability to demonstrate comprehension and not on his or her ability to write effectively. In contrast, the text-based essay is scored based on both the student's ability to analyze the text and his or her ability to write a cohesive essay. Finally, this is an example of a fourth grade writing prompt. It does not relate to a reading passage. Students will use their background knowledge and experiences to craft a piece. It could be informative, opinion, or narrative, which is why we give them lots of practice with the three types of writing. With the PA Core Standards and the revised PSSA, you may be wondering how you can support your child and the school as we transition and prepare for these changes. First, the ways in which you currently support your child and communicate with the school are important. In the Westchester Area School District, we are blessed with parents dedicated to the success of their children and their schools. 
We value the partnerships we have with parents in each of our schools. As you talk with your child about what he or she is reading in school, you can ask him or her to explain what evidence from the text helped them to understand what they are sharing with you. You can also show them how you understand what an author is saying and what you read by commenting on how the author perhaps organized the newspaper article or organized the book you are reading. If you would like more information on the PA Core Standards, please go to Pennsylvania Standards Aligned System website. Within the Standards portion of this website, you will find a listing of the standards from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade. You will also find resources for parents. If you have questions about our implementation of the standards, you can also contact your child's teacher. Finally, as a language arts supervisor for the school district, I am happy to answer your questions about the PA Core Standard and the revised PSSA. In the Westchester Area School District, we have amazing teachers and principals working every day to support your children. In partnership with you, we know that all of our students will achieve at high levels. Thank you.